Hello and welcome to Certified 911. Today we're going to take a look at how to do maintenance on a YSI polarographic uh, probe, uh, VOD probe or uh, dissolved oxygen probe. We're going to talk about when to maintain and uh, how to maintain. And like everything else, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you refer to uh, your owner's manual and that will go a long way in to be able to uh, to help you as far as some of the problems that you may encounter. But today we just want to talk about um, when and how to maintain your probe. And anytime you're not able to calibrate, if it's giving you an error or if the probe is unstable, that might be an opportunity to take a look at uh, the last time that you did a cap change and uh, maintenance on the probe. We're talking about uh, me mechanical maintenance first of all and that involves using 400 grit wet sandpaper and uh, anytime we have the probe off we're going to use distilled water and then we're going to take uh, separate sheets of sandpaper to clean both the uh, gold cathode and the silver anode. Keep in mind when you're doing mechanical maintenance on these probes that the uh, the thickness is only about the thickness of a sticker, so you just want to be very gentle and only clean as much as you have to. And so as you can see in this probe, it's fairly clean, and uh, normally you wouldn't do a whole lot of cleaning um, when it's uh, fairly clean like this. And so I'm just going to show you, kind of go down and around uh, your probe as you're rinsing with distilled water and just work your way around and after you do mechanical cleaning and if you feel that it's still not performing right the last thing you can try would be some ammonium hydroxide and you can use a 14 percent um, but only for about two to three minutes and if you dilute it down to three percent you can do that uh, that overnight and that would be to as a chemical cleaning on, on the silver um, anode part of your probe. Then getting back to the mechanical cleaning on the gold, you want to make sure that you clean off any of the residue as the silver has transferred to the gold and you want the gold just to be a bright uh, bright uh, brass color and you just want to have it uh, just have a matte finish. So just carefully look at your probe and just make sure that there is no silver that's left on it. And then as far as your cap installation, make sure you take a new cap and uh, fill it with a fresh uh, probe solution, electrolyte. Make sure that your solution once initialized with distilled water, it's not over a year old. And then you can just fill it up to the bottom of the cap and you can screw it, uh, screw it back on. And then if you have a bench top uh, meter, it's always good to um, keep it on overnight with your uh, new cap and electrolyte solution. Obviously, if you have a handheld, you're not going to be able uh, to do that. So if you have any more questions, uh, make sure you contact us at uh, Certify 911, and uh, we'll be glad uh, to help you with it.